So welcome all. Today we are seeing something about register allocation. So basically, we have to see here um, register allocation constraints, top down and bottom up local uh, allocation, global allocation. How this uh, coloring algorithm that we would have seen in algorithms can help us in uh, register uh, allocation. So. Suppose intermediate code uh, typically assumes uh, uh, infinite number of registers. So whatever infinite uh, intermediate code we generate, uh, it is not efficient enough uh, to assume that we have limited number of registers. So in real machines, what we have, we have limited number or finite number of registers. So here, what we try here while uh, register allocation. We try to produce the code that uses integer number k or fewer registers. Uh, so, so that uh, we could minimize the number of load and store operations, minimize the space needed for uh, spilled values. And uh, if we could uh, do these things in minimum time complexity, if order of n it is better order of n n log n maximum order of n square so in this way we will try to allocate the uh, registers right so the task is at each point in the code pick the values to keep in registers insert code to move values between registers and memory okay for this uh, uh, some kind of uh, scheduling can also be done. Uh, additional transformation and scheduling will not be required. Certain kind of schedulings would have been done already. Now, uh, we will use this uh, allocation maybe in dynamically or statically to minimize the insert code. Allocation versus assignment. Basically, what happens? Allocation means deciding uh, which values to keep in registers. Okay, assignment is actually choosing the specific register for uh, particular values. In compiler, we will need both of them. What are basic blocks? Actually. A basic block is a maximal length segment of uh, straight line codes. Uh, so between these uh, statements, what happens? There is no branch statements. Uh, you will not uh, have to. Um, there no. There is no if condition, no uh, such kind of things, based on which some statements are to be skipped or certain certain things. So what happens? If uh, one statement is executed, then all of them executes. Okay, execution is totally ordered, means uh, just in one direction. Many uh, techniques for improving basic blocks, simplest and the strongest methods, do exist for this purpose. Okay. Now, see local register allocation. Basically, we want to allocate the registers, uh, minimum registers and perform the execution, right? So, this uh, local register allocation produces decent register uses inside a block. Global register allocation uh, can do better, uh, but is a little complex than this, okay? constraints. Allocator typically uh, won't allocate all registers to um, higher values, instruction register values. Now, generally we will reverse some uh, minimal set of registers used uh, only for a spilling. Don't dedicate all the particular values. What we are saying is, 
we will keep some, uh, keep some uh, registers we are calling it a set set f but we will keep some uh, registers for um, general purpose kind of thing okay and certain uh, registers will be uh, have their dedicated work right so that that is what we are uh, talking here so oh, what is liveness suppose a value is live between its definition and use so till it is being used it is live now oh, so a live range in is the interval from the definition to the last use okay this interval can be uh, represented uh, like this box hmm. so top down allocator top down allocator means uh, we keep uh, the busiest values in a dedicated register we are thinking uh, we assume uh, how they are being uh, um, allocated eh? so we keep the busiest value busiest means uh, frequently required values in a dedicated register okay and uh, we have several uh, general purpose registers f uh, we can use them for other uh, purposes other um, non frequent uses okay you can rank the values by a number of occurrences and then you will allocate the first uh, kf values to registers and then add the code to move from uh, um, values between reserved regist registers and memory okay very simple things other thing is bottom up actually what will happen we will focus on the replacement rather than allocation means uh, uh, in bottom up you will have this uh, value and then what will happen some uh, new values are going to be replaced so we will try to um, find out um, those values uh, which are going to be used in near future if they are in going to be used in near future then we will keep those values and uh, we will try to remove those values which are uh, going to be used uh, not in near future right so here what basically we are uh, talking is we will keep the uh, values used soon in register those who are going to be used in near future so algorithm uh, is what we will start with empty register on demand we will keep on loading the values and when the new values are to be loaded so when no registers are available then we will free one of the uh, available register for uh, freeing one of the uh, register we will try to use some replacement policy we would have heard about uh, these things but still let me tell you we will replace the value with the one okay a spill values whose next use is farthest in the future which are which is not going to be used in near future that particular one will be replaced now uh, if there are um, more than one such option in that case we will try to see something about clean and dirty values we understand uh, uh, this clean and dirty value i think you may be familiar of these clean and dirty values with uh, uh, replacement policy you would have heard in your computer organization uh, maybe related to um, cache replacement policy right where would you would have heard about dirty bits right means uh, though uh, that means uh, what happens certain uh, in your cache what happens similarly here it will also happen but in cache what happens you will have this uh, uh, chunks you will assign one bit uh, of each chunk as dirty bit so if this chunk is uh, has been written if this place if this memory location has been uh, performed a write operation 
in that case this bit is uh, set so in this way while cache replacement you get to know that particular location has been written or uh, not written just write the values so here what we are saying that if those registers if we have multiple registers and we have an option to choose among them then we will have to keep in mind these which registers which have been written and which have not been written just read the values okay so in that case they will try to remove replace this uh, register which has only been read not written okay so this is something that we have to see here so uh, we always uh, keep getting uh, these uh, kind of algorithms and uh, mostly you will see in a, every decade we are getting some new algorithms and we, should, we will keep getting such algorithms now let us think about global register allocation where uh, the registers are there and globally we are uh, thinking about uh, uh, allocating these registers the uh, values okay so for this uh, a graph coloring technique you would have uh, read in uh, algorithm class or maybe if not actually what happens is given a graph suppose you have a graph right so in a graph you have to color each node each node is to be colored with a different color if there is a connection between these two so suppose this has been colored with c1 then you cannot assign c1 to uh, this node or this node so you will have to use c2 here and c2 here for this node you can again use a new color suppose c3 be you because you cannot assign c2 but still if you see carefully you can assign c1 here okay so so graph coloring uh, becomes a little uh, uh, not a straight forward uh, because uh, you will try to use minimum number of colors to um, this thing so here what we are talking about in global register allocation we will consider these um, uh, uh, these things suppose nodes are virtual uh, registers okay and uh, a is, is between uh, t1 t2 when uh, t1 and t2 cannot be assigned to the same registers okay most commonly these t1 t2 are both live values at the same time so can also use to express constants about registers so what we are saying is uh, t1 can be assigned to uh, this Mm. then uh, there is something called uh, another value t2 this cannot be assigned to the same register uh, so so here you suppose uh, this thing that the nodes are uh, on the values which has to be uh, assigned mm, in certain register so we are uh, trying to allocate registers so number of colors that we are going to assign will be considered as number of registers right so we will try to minimize the number of colors so that we can minimize the number of uh, registers so here um, if at all we will get k is a value and we can color the nodes with k colors in that case we can use the k registers for um, allocation of these things right but still we can have uh, uh, if this uh, graph will give you uh, more than k colors are required in that case we can uh, insert some um, spill code we can use some extra 
uh, these registers. So this will work only if we have enough number of uh, registers. If we have a constant and a particular set of registers only, in that case, it may create some problem. But still, it works fine. So, if you want to color by simplification, what you will do? Uh, linear time approximation that generally uh, gives good result. Okay. You will build, means you will construct the interface uh, interference graph. You will color the graph by repeatedly simplification and you will spill. If simplify cannot reduce the graph completely, you will mark some nodes for a spilling that these nodes can be spilled. Last is select where you will assign color to nodes in the graph. So this is how say, this coloring can help you in um, global allocation of this uh, registers. So this is what we uh, saw these things. Basically you can go through the book of Holman for uh, more uh, reference. Okay. Thank you.